we finally have a sound. Where's the sound? Where's the plan? It's going do 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 do. Or maybe I can do a sound. Wanna hear this? Oh wow! Yeah, so that's that's sound. glorious. Quite a sound. Yeah. So okay. That's, that's awesome. Play. Um, I think the fellow's da, name was da, da. David Smith. He's a composer, and he says every week you guys say you're gonna do a, a new product sound. <laughs> yeah, it's like four years. And we sing it. We just go do 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 do. do so he actually the products. does products. Okay. Yeah. All right. New products. Glorious. Um, we're gonna go through these really fast. We have the Maker Bot Adafruit Editions back in stock. We have um, only a few of these. These are limited edition. And uh, they have the Adafruit plate. They come with kits. And if you use the discount code tonight, it will be 10% off, which is because um, we don't have a fantastic deal on these, but we do OK. So that's the MakerBot deal. Uh, first up, Lady Ada, you got wire in the store. It's wire wrap wire. This right. is wire wrap wire. It's handy because it's really, really thin. It's a 30 gauge uh, solid core wire. It is uh, just really thin, and uh, it's really great for prototyping. And uh, let me just move this to me a little bit more. Okay, so there you go. Um, so yeah, it's just extremely thin wire, and it's uh, you know people say like, oh, I'm going to blue wire hack something, or I'm going to repair some surface mount components with some wire wrap wire. You can also use it for wire wrapping if you're one of the last six people on Earth who wire wraps. <laughs> Okay, next up. Um, this is a really neat product. Uh, this is a, a switchable voltage supply. Yes. And uh, Is it switching it's a, supply? That's also switching. Yeah, so I'll just show the photos real quick. Yeah, the photo's actually kind of more useful than yeah, looking at it. Yeah, we'll get it. through it in a minute. But this is really helpful because it has all the different plugs. Yep. All the different things you need. You have all the plugs, and yeah. also it is... Um, you can change the voltage. There's a switch here, so you can do 12 volts, 9 volts, 7.5, 6, 4.5, and 3. Um, so if you have 3.3 .3 volt logic, the 3 volts, and you know, because um, switching power supplies are a little bit uh, higher um, voltage when they first come out, and then as you draw like an amp, they, they droop a little bit. So uh, for 3 volt logic, you can use a 3. For 5 volt logic, actually the 4.5 is, is, you know, good enough. Um, 6 volt kind of simulates 4 double A's, 7.5 and 9 volts, and then 12 volts is also pretty standard. This is kind of like a 1.5 volt battery replacer, but it's also really handy because you just have one power supply and you switch it, and you can do up to an amp and a half, and it comes with like all these little plugs that you could possibly want. Handy. Okay, uh, next up, stacky headers. Uh, these are upgraded stacky headers. We now include the two by three hat header, which oh, is these are so hard to find. Which is handy. Yeah. But you know, that comes as a full set. So this is like it's the same price. Now you get six different stacky yeah. stacks. And then um, the next round of products, um, you'll probably like these rounds. These are um, feedback servos, and you can record and playback servo motion. Oh, I yeah. love these things. These yeah, are I cool. I haven't had a chance to use them yet, but I love them so much. Yeah. yeah. So historically, you've had to modify a servo to get this. And um, now we have it, so it's actually, we just contacted a servo factory that makes like pretty good servos, and we're like, hey, um, can you make a servo for us which has one more wire? And so you can see that there's one more <laughs> wire. And they're like, yeah, sure, if you buy 500. I'm like, okay, done. And so it has one more wire that's the feedback wire, and that connects to the potentiometer inside. And so like I've got this little um, demo it's, set up here. You have a demo. And so if I press the record red button, um, it'll listen to the analog input pin. And then I can stop, and it saves it to the EEPROM. That's what the demo does. And then when I press the green button, it repeats the motion. you got to be kidding me. It is awesome. Isn't that cool? So here's what the problem that this actually solves is. And you can just press it again to repeat it. The, the problem this solves is um, reverse kinematics totally sucks. And so if you're building a, a project with servos, and you're like, well, I want this arm, or I want this leg to do something, and you, in your head you're like, well, I want it to move like this and then move forward, and then you're like, OK, I get my matrix algebra, and then you're Has like, I hate this. Has made a hexapod here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, someone's yeah. loving this, right? So, yeah. so we started with getting just the big server. We're going to get smaller, the little micro servos and the Metal Gear ones as well. We wanted to start with this. Just yeah. to make Go sure the other way. Please make a 50 horsepower servo. Right? <laughs> um, I know people you can contact. The one that just like smacks you, and then you just <laughs> play repeat. So it, it kind of solves this fun problem with, like, I want to build a robot that does something. But you might not want to like figure out how to program in the motion. But in this case, you can press record. It'll print out the value, so you can just use that as a table. Or you can just store an EEPROM and play it back. So um, yeah, this is uh, super fun. And then yeah, you can just 
have a little party. Wow. I, and here I've had trouble with, ask people, with people asking me what the third wire does. You're going to make people ask me what the fourth wire does. In it's the, the feedback wire. pin. So, yeah, it's just using <laughs> the analog input. So, I think these are, are super cool. I've, I've wanted these for a while. I know people who modify servos, um, but now we just have them ready to go. And um, they're yeah. just like standard servos, but better. And it comes with a bunch of horns. And I don't then, have them, but um, the photo. Last up for this week, uh, we released uh, an update to one of our most popular products of all time. The motor shield, and um, the motor shield uh, that's been our kit for Arduino uh, for really a long time. This was like time. product ID number eight. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's an early product number. Some beautiful photos of uh, of a motor party that we have. We always say motor party with this stuff. And uh, the side view, top view, and it's a big update for us. Uh, we wanted to have it assembled so people can um, just out of the box, start doing stuff. Yeah, so the nice thing about this is it now comes assembled. And here's the little motor party. It has a little DC uh, brush motor, so having a good time, with servos moving back and forth. And then we also have um, a stepper motor, which is uh, stepping, so it's all very loud and annoying. And uh, I'll just turn this off for a moment. Um, so it basically is very similar to the old motor shield. You can control two steppers, bipolar, unipolar, or four DC uh, motors. You also control like solenoids and stuff too, anything that's kind of motor-esque. Um, it now has a protection input FET, so um, less likely to damage it. Um, it has a reset button. It has all the pins broken out, which is nice. Um, we also upgraded the motor driver. We used to use the L293D, which was like 600 milliamps, 1.2 amp peak. This is a 1.2 amp, uh, 3 amp peak. So it's like two or three times more current um, per uh, motor bridge and there's two full H bridges in each one so that's great you can also double it up if you really wanted to and what we added is instead of having a shift register which was really simple um, and easy to use um, for the first version we've upgraded it to now have a onboard PWM generator so this is a free running PWM generator that runs over I squared C so you only need two pins and it runs at like two kilohertz and it will control micro stepping DC motor speed stuff like that so it's, it's really handy and we had extra space so it's prototyping and one of the cool things about it is, is now because it's um, got an I2C uh, PWM driver, it doesn't use Arduino pins. It only uses these two I2C pins that you can then um, share with other I2C devices. So, for example, you can stack the motor. So here's one motor and shield, and then here's another motor shield. And then you can stack up to 32 shields um, and set the addresses. So now we've got three steppers, a DC motor, a servo, and you can add you know, up to like 60 more DC motors or 60 more stepper motors. I don't know what you would use 60 stepper motors for, but So wait, what you're cool. telling me is I can take 32 of these, put them all in parallel, and make a go-kart out of them. Yes, you could, if you could provide power. That's you, like you, a, that's you what Charles only sees the world through. Can I make a go-kart out you of them? You bring the power. You can, so, I mean, it's it, like 50 amps. The one thing that, the, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's terminal blocks for each one. Um, the one thing that I thought would be cool for this is a lot of people are like, well, I have um, maybe like a, a robot arm or like a robot that has a you know, four-wheel drive, but then I also want like some steppers or I have a 3D printer type thing where I have X, Y, Z and then rotation. And so I need four stepper motors. And so, you know, I thought like you could stack two shields and then you can get four stepper motors. And then if you just want more components, you can just stack them up. And it's 20 bucks a shield. So it's actually like a really good deal, $10 per stepper controller. And it does uh, full micro-stepping support, and um, it works with the Excel stepper library, so you can have this um, be like fully like interrupt-based um, motion automation. So that can be like really handy. I thought this would be useful for a lot of people doing automation and robotics, especially when you have a lot of steppers. And most steppers, you don't need more than two amps, so. Yeah, this is great to see, because one of the biggest impediments historically of just people trying to make multi-dimensional systems is your Arduino only talks to one motor shield because you're depending on these digital pins. Yeah, now, so it's good to see this their network together. So this is the same chip that we also use for the servo shield. So actually, you could stack this with the servo shield. The servo shield you can connect up to 900 servos. So you could do 900 servos plus minus 64 steppers. I don't know. I mean, just have a party, motor party. You guys got to help me think of what's. Well, what, I don't know what you. Could, 900 well, servos, somebody, somebody did use the servo, um, the servo driver, and did chain them together to uh, make um, uh, a, a piano playing robot and he used one servo, uh, each servo was a key. My goodness. So they needed eight, they were like, <laughs> I actually need 88 servos. And so they chained the, 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 the driver and they're like, I need provide current and it works as long as you can provide enough five volts. Okay. You're good to go. And that was uh, new products. Let me, uh, let me do this. Thank you.
Okay. Does new products. All right. All right.